Good morning, today we convert React class-based components to hooks. Let's say we have a simple login form. You can enter login, test, test.com, password, and when you press login, it alerts the values of the login and password fields. Right now this form is defined as a class-based component. It has a layout where it renders a form with header with, a, with an image. It has two inputs, login and password, and labels for each input. When you type the text into the inputs, it handles the onChange events using the setLogin and setPassword methods. When the setLogin or setPassword methods are called, they call setState and update the related field login for login and password for the password handler. We also have the default state. Both login and password are empty strings. When you click the login button, it triggers the form submit handler. In this handler, first we prevent the default behavior, which would be to navigate by the action URL. And uh, in our case, as there is no action on this form, it would just reload the page. Then we destructure our state into login and password constants. And then we alert login and password values. Now let's rewrite this component to hooks. First, we convert it into a function. So we say expert const class based form. Let's rename it to function based form. Function based form. Remove extends component and say equals new function and it will be an error function. We can remove the component import. And now let's rewrite the state. React provides use state hook to manage state in your function-based components. We will need two state values to be handled, login and password. Let's comment this line, create a new constant, login. It's a getter for our state and set login. This is a setter. We get them using use state hook and we pass an empty string as a default value here. Let's copy it and create the same for the password. Password and set password. Now we have named collisions, set login and set password handlers. For now, let's remove them. Now, as it is a function and not a class, we can just return our layout instead of defining a render method. Remove the render method definition and format the document. Also, the onSubmit function now needs to be defined as a const. Const onSubmit and we can remove the old state definition. Our set login and set password setters are in our function scope, so we don't have to use this to call them. Remove this and uh, define another arrow function in line that will accept event and call the set login function with event target value. Do the same for the password. Remove this, define a new arrow function, event and set password with event target value format the document and now let's update the on submit callback first remove the reference to this we don't need it anymore and inside of this callback we don't have to destructure our state we don't even have the field state in this component we can use login and password getters directly so remove it and we are done now you need to rename the file function based form .js, go to app.js and instead of class-based form we will now import function-based form from the function-based form module. Function-based form. Let's go to the browser and see if it still works. Login, test test.com, 123, 123, login and it still alerts the login and password values. The code for this example is in the description. Next time we will convert a component that uses lifecycle methods like component did mount or component did update. Let me know in the comments if you still work with class-based components at work or on your projects. Also I have a Discord server that you can join to vote for the next topic of my video. Link in the description. See you next time.